Hi, welcome to this video and in this video we're going to be using the FoodSense um, Generation 4 which I have in front of me for measuring the hotness of um, Psycho Juice. Um, I'll describe the Psycho Juice and we'll then get into talking about preparing the sample and actually running a test and measuring the Scoville heat unit um, of that um, test. So let me just go forward a little bit and I have to say I've had a look at the back of um, all the ingredients on this and um, I've also had a little look at some websites so it says it in the ingredients that it's 70% um, ghost pepper um, and I did read on a website it may have the addition of pure um, oleo resins as well though I'm not sure how much of those oleo resins that are present. Um, I just want to do a quick um, back the envelope calculation on this because um, ghost peppers um, uh, when they were recorded I think maybe it was in the Guinness um, Book of World Records, it was 1 million Scoville heat units. Now when people say it's 1 million Scoville heat units for a ghost pepper, that means the dry weight, that means the desiccated weight when they've got rid of all of the um, liquid. So they've kind of um, have taken away all the liquid and you're left with just this very shriveled up, condensed, um, dried chili. And at that point then um, you would say it was kind of 1 million Scoville heat units. Because chili is actually 90% water, or chili pepper rather is 90% water, when you're considering the hotness of a, um, a hot pepper, like a ghost pepper, when it's wet, it's actually, Scoville heat units actually more like um, 100,000 Scoville heat units. This is very approximate, but you know, approximately that would mean that if you had a, if you just took those chilies, blended them up, um, and the final solution was 70% of those chilies, then um, and without any kind of removal of any further liquid, then you may expect to have a Scoville heat unit of about 70,000 Scoville heat units. Now, as I say, it's not on the label, but I have read on a website that is they, they may add some um, extra um, oleo resin, which is a kind of um, it's a tarry material that contains um, a high degree of capsaicin in it. So that was sort of fortify or um, raise the concentration. Let me go forward a little bit faster now. Um, and just say so, yeah, we described the dry weight. The fact is the wet weight um, Scoville heat unit is about one tenth of the dry weight. Um, as I say, if you do 70% um, of the product is um, ghost pepper, then Psycho Juice would theoretically have an approximate um, Scoville heat unit rating of about um, 70,000 Scoville heat units. And as I say, the Oleo resin, which is not, I think on the label, may fortify that some more but i'm not sure if it's if it's actually in there um in order to prepare the sample um i originally took um 0.1 grams of the um uh, of the um sauce i weighed it out in a balance um and diluted it in 0.9 mils of the um, buffer and i'll just bring the buffer into shot now um so that was my first round of preparing this sample. It was a bit, um, it was a bit um, sort of long-winded the way I did it. But as I say, 0 0.1 grams of the um, sauce was added to 0 0.9 mils of the um, buffer, um, and I was made a good point of trying to make sure that I got all of the um, sauce. Um, well, I have to get all of the sauce into that, otherwise you're going to end up uh, with an error. So I was getting all of that 0 0.1 grams plus that 0 0.9 mils of the chili pot buffer all into um, there. As I said, I, was, I did this for my own reasons, but um, I, it was a little, let's say, long-winded um, the way I went about that. But I'll just go to uh, here. So I prepared the sample. The next thing I did then, as I say here, I vortexed it. So I just want to kind of um, go to what my vortex, I've got a vortexer here, um, slightly out of shot, but um, it's a pretty useful way of taking um, a sample like this and it's vibrating like crazy. And it's a really good way of um, homogenizing it, make sure I get um, a good extraction. Now I went a slightly long route around this because actually what I then did is, um, I knew this was a hot sauce. I know that capsaicin has a limited um, solubility and I knew that I was really going to have them to be heading towards um, a 1 in 100 dilution. So I actually took um, 0 0.1 mils of my 1 in 10 dilution. I took 0 0.1 mils of that and diluted it with a further 0 0.9 mils of the buffer. 
So I've effectively prepared um, two samples in, in sequence. One of them, the first one was one in 10, and then I did um, a one in 100 dilution. So my final, let's say, sample for test is actually um, one in 100. The reason being is, you know, actually, you know, I do have a good a sense of what the um, final score of this Scoville heat unit rate or the scalable heat rating of this will be because they kind enough to put how much um, chilies they're putting on, on the side of the bottle. Um, even before I test it now, I will just do a quick, um, I'll just do a quick uh, vortex on it just to make sure I homogenize it. And what I want to do then is just change um, cameras for a second and just say I've got the food sense generation four here I've got a chili sensor here I've got the sample here it's really important to say that this is a one in 100 dilution um, I've got the app um, on my phone and the app is in Bluetooth connection with um, the device let me just add that Right, so samples on there, um, and I'm just going to go um, essentially at this point. What the, I've got a little button on my app which says go to assay. I'm just going to tell the app that that was a one in 100 dilution, and off it goes. So it's um, the you can just about see some flashing here. This is because there's an LED bar here which is um, guiding the user experience and flashing to sell me that the assay is running but that's also i also know it's running because um it's also running on my um phone at the um same time um so it will give me a result let's say pretty shortly here it comes three two and one and i've got a score of forty four thousand five hundred scoville heat units now what's nice about that as well is um if I go done, um, so you know, I'll, I'll um, just note that was forty four thousand five hundred. You know, so you can see it's pretty quick to um, um, to be able to actually run um, an assay um, on that particular um, device. So what I also want to do as well then is um, just go to my um, screen because every time we do a um, every time we do an assay the results actually go also to the cloud as well. So um, you get a nice result on the phone. That's easy for somebody who's you know, not super technical. The only things they have to do is prepare the sample one in 100 dilution, run the assay, tell the app that it did a one in 100 dilution. They get a score of um, 44,500 on their phone. But then for those people who are kind of in production, you've got incoming quality control or outgoing quality control or process control actually we get the raw signal right up into the cloud as well and that's for me that's important because if you're ever challenged then as to why you say what you say essentially um then we can back it up with both you know let's say a number but also the scientific data also behind um essentially that number so if i was to sort of summarize um what i have said um so far then we have um taken the psycho juice we made initially a sample of one in ten it was a bit convoluted but actually i knew i was going to go to one in 100 um i ran i put the sample on the uh, on the chili sensor um i told the app to run it i told the app that that was a one in 100 dilution it ran the assay and gave us a result of about forty four thousand five hundred. and then as you saw i also got that result immediately gets uploaded with the number, with all the raw signal as well. So I've really got a kind of, you know, um, all the receipts around that kind of claim that that's um, 44,500 as well. So I think it's worth saying, if you've got any questions of ZP and Food Sense Generation 4, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, there's a contact detail here and I'll make sure I put that underneath the video. Okay, thanks very much.